Why do people age differently? That's the question that really drives my research. Why does one person show memory decline and another person's cognitive abilities stay sharp? There are still so many unanswered questions in the psychology of ageing. I'm Karen Anstey, Professor of Psychology. So I work in cognitive ageing, um, dementia research, late life, mental disorders, and also research programming older drivers. In our everyday life, we may not be aware of it, but we're using our cognition for planning our day, for managing our finances, um, decision making, problem solving. Our cognition is really the core of who we are as people. Now, many of us in the field see population ageing as a triumph of humanity, so we've managed to um, solve some of the medical problems that people died from. At the same time, we actually don't know much about what it's like to be a normal 90-year-old. What's memory like in the 90s? What are the emotional issues that a 90-year-old goes through? From a psychological perspective, this is really um, a new frontier. One of my core research foci is identifying lifestyle um, and biological risk factors for cognitive decline. I'm talking about things like physical activity, diet, social engagement and cognitive engagement. Another area of my research is focused on older drivers. Driving is a very complex task, so a number of the individual areas of ageing that we're looking at will come together and be relevant when we're studying something such as driving. I couldn't do my work without collaboration with other disciplines. So, for example, if we were to do a study on older drivers, we would involve an optometrist, we would have an occupational therapist, we may have an IT expert or someone who can help us with things like machine learning. Uh, we'd have a clinical neuropsychologist who understands the brain. Then we might have expertise in engineering or in the actual vehicle side of driving. The other thing about collaboration is that it's fun, interesting and very stimulating. So you're getting ideas from all different areas, um, different ways of approaching a problem. I think that on the whole collaboration leads to the best outcomes.